This is some green light good stuff called Pigsidus. It's about a pig. Let's Enter have a look. the oh. world of Horace Oinkstein. Got to be quite a little bit because of narration. Full of cute animals. Oh. Love. That's adorable. Heart on an ass. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's quite darling, that is. And adventures. I gotta I'm I'm going quiet when there's no talking. And I should be quiet when there is talking. So I should be talking now. But I can see the sound file. He's gonna talk in a second. Here he comes. Root for our hero, as he is about to discover a terrifying secret. <gasps> oh, no! I shouldn't let that was the cutest little run I've ever seen. He was so fast, but it's sad because of what the farmer's gonna do to the. Oh no, that's the parents! No, he's got a little heart on his ass. He can't not have a. The last thing Oinkstein wants is to be a hero. Oh, that's. But now he doesn't have a choice. Witness the ensuing <laughs> mayhem <laughs> when it becomes clear that someone messed with the wrong pig. Oh, it's like Home Alone, but with a pig. Okay. <laughs> Go whole hog to save your animal friends in Pixidus, a PC adventure game. Coming to Kickstarter July 12th. Okay, that, that logo was terrific, but uh, okay. I'm into that. There's a lot of blackness. This is still the trailer. They got a long black bit of nothing, like like void, and that's the trailer. That's now it's done. But you might not tell the difference because I'm still talking over void. But let's just let's just move on. Let's move on. Got some uh, extra story here. Deep in Alaskan woods, an incredibly smart pig, Horace Oinkstein, is fighting for survival. Pursued by a relentless butcher surrounded by hunters and wolves, he must find a way not only to save himself but also his loved ones. Will he land on a frying pan? Or will he wallow happily ever after? So in case there was any ambiguity, Pixidus is a point and click adventure game. You point and you click, you've played a game like that maybe in your time before? Surely. Uh, they say it's got RPG elements. I don't know what those elements are. I don't know if there's a leveling system or, or, or whatever. I, I, I don't know. What are the RPG elements? Tell us! Uh, but anyway, you've got to solve puzzles, test your reflexes in dynamic minigames and explore the mysterious pixel art world. Oh, pixel art. I said a pixel art. That's that's cute. That's that's actually way better than Pigsidus. Pigsidus uh, is a bit of a stretch. But pixel art? I like that. That's good. Uh, it's inspired by Animal Farm, which uh, is, a, is a book that they make you read in school. It's all right. I, I remember the cartoon. I remember the, the animated film. That's all right. Anyway, uh, they've got a demo if you're interested. Check that out. I'll uh, probably check that out myself. Uh, this is just the trailer series, but, you know, maybe some impressions or something of it would be interesting. And it's also got a Kickstarter if you're interested in what you've seen so far and would like to uh, give money to it. I like a bit. I almost said Pigstarter. So they got me doing it now. Um, anyway, the pig starter went up, I think, like today or yesterday. It's 11% funded at the moment. Uh, I like a Kickstarter that has a demo. Uh, a, a game that can actually, you know, give you a tangible example of what it is while it's asking money uh, for the thing. is always encouraging, shows confidence in a project, and it's just better. It's better than saying, please give us money, we have nothing to show for ourselves, you know. But I like how this looks. I don't play a ton of point and click games. Uh, I do like the ones I play, but I just never, uh, I don't know, I never, it, they've got to have a real, real hook to them to, to truly grab me. Uh, the last one I really got into was Dropsy the Clown. And visually, this reminds me a lot of Dropsy. Uh, uh, not so much in terms of, of theme and everything, but even then, it, it does have a similar uh, thing of being, quite cute but having this 
dark and also rather heartwarming story uh, underlying all the adorability. So there are some similarities to make. It's probably why uh, it's appealing to me so much is because it's reminding me of Dropsy. The stuff I'm uh, talking over right now is another video they have on the page, which is the uh, a, de a teaser for the Kickstarter demo. So uh, that shows off a little more of the gameplay, which again, it, it looks, you know, fairly standard point and click stuff, but that's certainly not a bad thing. Uh, it's, it's a hard thing to fuck up is point and click. I've seen it done, but it is hard to fuck up. But that's Pixitus. Uh, another promising game that, as usual, I'm not saying is guaranteed to be good when it comes out, but it certainly looks worth paying attention to. Uh, so that's cool. Pixitus. Another bit of green light good stuff for you. As I said it properly, I didn't say good light green stuff, so... Although at this point I've decided my brain's just gonna wanna keep saying good light green stuff, so if I ever say it, I'm not fucking correcting myself. And as always, a little bit of follow-up on our last uh, endeavours. The clockwork game that we looked at last time has been doing very well. There's a big thank you uh, from the developer Gamesoft to you all, who, who went and upvoted for it and everything. I, as always, I'm really pleased at some of the, the positive work we're doing here, where we're really sort of helping lift up games on Greenlight that deserve the attention, not the ones that, you know, have been working with those various group slash publishers that are getting attention for several shitty looking games under dubious uh, circumstances. So I, I feel like we're doing something cool. Not the most important thing in the world, but we're doing something cool with this whole series. And it just feels, it feels nice. Nice. That's the word, nice. Uh, I'm gonna go now. Bye.